Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 2 with the Favor mod installed where we return as Ice Claws. At least that is what she's named in this mod. And why do I say this? Well, the name of the episode is already going to be Lore and Order because I know what I'm going to do in this episode. Very much so. And one of the things that I own is the Dragons of Faerun book. And actually, this worm is a well-known dragon. But there she has the nickname the White Worm, not Ice Claws, which is kind of interesting. But maybe perhaps that was too long of a name, because indeed this is her true name. What is also interesting to note when I read about her is that she actually lived with, or used to live with a wizard called Nultharond here in the Ice Peaks, um, or the Ice Peak, I should say. There should be a mountain somewhere called the Ice Peak in this area, and uh, so it's actually not that crazy that she became an evoker because um, while she had him as a rider, she learned how to fight uh, other wizards. So it's kind of cool. Speaking of wizards, there are spell points over here. Apparently you simply accrue them over time, but because we are an evoker, unfortunately that is one of the subclasses of the wizard that hasn't been developed yet in this particular version of the mod that I have. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. However, despite the fact that I don't have 25 spell points yet, I don't know if we ever can cast longevity, because I've tried it with other characters on my own. And uh, it does, doesn't seem to pop, as uh, even you get the uh, enough spell points. So I don't know exactly how that works. And by the way, another small little tidbit of interest, if you will, is that... Um, now I need to find the exact sentence for that. Do -do 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 -do. Arviaturas is the occasional mate of the white worm... Arotator. When she hears his call, she often flies over to join him. She has a strange relationship with Laura of the Seven Sisters. This is not a dragon, but apparently this was already her lover before we actually started working on this. The mod hasn't implemented that, but this is actually her lover. So that is kind of interesting. We did that completely proper by lore. And, uh, well, from this point on, I'm going to explain what I've done while you were gone. Well, as first of all, you see that I have a lot of money. Yes, we went to our little gold um, giant, but what we also did is we are raiding Mithril Hall. Having said that, I think I'm soon about to, uh, well, t fight for Mithril Hall, because here, attacking on Mithril over the last Knight conquest of the Subrin Halls. That's over here. Um, Subrin Halls is being claimed. Mithril Hall will soon fall, and that would be bad. Another thing that I've done is, uh, as you may remember, we once gave, also because, well, actually, I never told that back then, but somebody did say from, hey, uh, they did say it over Storm Giant, not a Cloud Giant, but give it, make Cloud half Giant, half Dragon Babies. And as you can see, we now have one. Giant, half Dragon. By the way, Draconic and Draconic. So here they just took over the father. No weird Jotun stuff. Still trying to convert this province. Still trying to get that to Draconic. And yes, we're still trying to get the this area to become Draconic as well. And now when, when that has happened, we will switch to uh, possibly towards Cobalt. But uh, the only danger is that whoever I give this duchy to, they will want this area because that is the capital of course of the duchy of Torodur and then they might switch to Cobalt anyways because we are Cobalt not exactly what I want so maybe I will figure out something how to f how to fix that um, but uh, we may have to see right now however we are sieging and we are getting a lot of money or sorry raiding and getting a lot of money you could also ask what is this army this is a pretty decent army yeah, and it's not actually even my levies. My levies are slowly replenishing over here, as I said I would. But I have created a quite a large army that costs quite a bit of prestige, mind you. And we're now in a negative. That's still because they are uh, replenishing. But um, it is an army, a standing army that we can fight with. Oh. I'll mess up our room. Consensus. All right. I am teaching the twins over here. The red dragon twins. Um... Sorry, the Red Dragon Twins. 
This one and her twin. Yep. Teaching those because I probably want this one in the end to be the heir. Half dragon, red dragon, dragon. Okay, I don't know exactly how this works, but Valletta is amazing. We also, of course, have our own heir, Olafautor, who is a, ge an, a genius, yeah, dragon, undefined at the moment. So, we don't know yet what he is. Really doesn't state anywhere. But yeah, um, raiding Mifrol has been very good for the coffers. Uh, hello to you. Looking very beautiful. Um... Uh, Let's go with that, because you're also good in Intrigue, because you're Kobold. By the way, uh, they've also implemented that. I noticed that if you play as the character self, and it seems that this is an unfruitful marriage, then you can instantly divorce from that person. You do get a message popped up from that, but unfortunately, as we're not playing our son, it probably doesn't happen. Now, I'm going over here because I noticed in another campaign I did, on um, my own, where I... Uh, well, actually, it kind of happened already over here. The Goblin Marshes, they did it, except that the Goblin Marsh here... Formed under the High Orc that I think starts over here. Nope. That's a different Orc. Alright. Uh, no, that's are the Orcs that start over here originally, I think. No. Ah, uh, because shields... I'm uh, looking at the shield, but the shield, of course, m moves around a little bit. I don't know exactly how that works, but... I uh, started with a goblin that starts over here. It's a long-lived goblin, which is kind of interesting. Zebak here, 142. And I managed to conquer all of this. And I managed to get one son. Right before she became infertile. Uh, she got pregnant. From a concubine. Uh, because that happens really quick if you play as her. And I m managed to marry it out to a bastard daughter of her. Who also got the whilst well, magic source origin, origin. And apparently that allows for goblins and humans to get babies. Because normally that's not possible. Because I also got a... I married with that goblin, the son of the king of Chondalov. Chondlov, I always... never mind. I'm Chonduff. I just have trouble with it. Uh, this guy married him and, uh, well, we could not get babies and I got a warning of that. But uh, So there is something of an implementation that I complained about, but it's just not the implementation that I can be... I can see it. I'll teach you to be less nosy. No, you know what? I will lose the prestige for that. Oh no, actually, she loses the prestige that. Ooh. Died of poor health, my daughter, the unlucky. Alright. That frees up the son of Drisdo Erden. I do want you to be on my. Ooh. Draconic. Half dragon, you say. Yes. Let's create a half dragon Drisdo Erden. Oh. He left. False religion. But he likes me better. You twit. Oh well. Mm, um, this is our own genius, child. Warfare is not the best. Let's go with consensus. Uh, we lose our advisor, of course. My courtier. I would love it if you would just change your religion around. Uh, but you can use a bump in uh, how you, much you like me, so let's do it. Sure, you know what, marry her out. Let, let's get rid of her. I mean, let's just have the dragons breed at least. I know we now just gave her away, but we need also the dragons to breed in general. If we do is a matrilineal marriage to here to you, matrilineal. It is not to the um, my heir son, but one of his dragons, and they then because they're matrilineal should be draconic. They probably won't be, but can't really do anything about that. Um, you are for religion. Having said that, can I not force that man to take the... Nope, because we're an unreformed pagan also, I reckon. Uh, we'll have to see. 
Burn, baby, burn. Give me your money. Lusk is already attacking once again. Yeah, this is just nuts. But uh, yeah, we have quite a bit of gold. Duchy of the Lands against the wall. Yeah, it's over there, but not right now needed. Thank you. Got that one. And... One war seems to have been over now. So now it's a question of what shall we do? Yes. We don't lose the prestige. She is um, very beautiful and it's a little bit bright, but this is a good combo, I would say. Still Jotun dra uh, dragons arriving from this place. Bad, bad, bad. Um, but we also should be... Yeah, we now are at peace with you. Or, better say, we don't have a peace treaty with you anymore. Cause, so we can do a du jour claim. We should have enough people with our own little army over here. But I think I will call in the rest because I don't want to have happen what happened in the last episode. Which is just a general fail. Let's just be honest. It was just a general fail. Um, I guess I will call you in later. Because they're here. There's so little supply limit that we can't have everyone around here. There you go. I saw, by the way, in that uh, goblin thing that I did on my own. Woo. Uh, I saw also obled many arrows... Uh, well, being true to his name, uh, we have uh, just a little too many people here. That's not good. I don't want to suffer attrition. We just saved it. Probably. There you go. Just saved it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for Mithra Holes very, very soon. I know it's a nice little cash cow, but I also want uh, to have... Something to gain. Ooh, Duchy of Silvery Moon is uh, protecting them. Did you marry Katie Bree? Yeah, that's Katie Bree. I uh, was susp suspicious of that marriage when I saw a dwarven girl in the area. Still hope they will fix that bug, because she's definitely human. 100%, thank you very much. Peace sent. And that is the Moonwood is now ours. Uh, I have to really look at this. It's not yet religious. Ooh. Possibly had... Oh my, we have a ton of prisoners of this. Money, money, money. In a rich man's world. Don't mind if I do. Um, the, the fact are is you are... And other vassals will be annoyed. Yeah, but... Uh, we need this to become religious. Legalism is greater than two? No, it's not yet. I kind of wanted to save the points, though, but... Because uh, Mithra Hall, for instance, 12, 12, 11... And this is 40, 15, 16, Silvery Moon. That's just a free upgrade, in my opinion. You know what? Is if we're gonna be that 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 uh, dupey about it, let's just do it. And uh, before when we catch Silvery Moon, that's when we're gonna have to put our uh, guy over here to try and settle the, the clan over there. I hope that is doable, even if it's a castle holding. I'm not sure, but I hope that will be that will be workable. All right. Council consideration. Free against it's free four. That will work out then. It will not be a clear victory, but it will be clear enough. Chiefdom of the, the Elven Court. Hey, I was just about to say the Drow are trying to dominate over here. They're not doing well, though. This is all the, so the second uh, lady already. 
They're being... The Harrowdale is uh, and killing them. There's also a duchy, but this is by uh, the elves. Because this one's of Lost Voices. No, this one is the, the one that starts also in drow hands. Conquered in a war, conquered in a war. Yeah. So, one of the options for the other series. But uh, the most difficult start I think I found, and that's. Uh, oh! Whoa! Centaurium has been kicked. It starts over here. That is. That's a crazy difficult one. And we might do that. We might have already done that by the time I just realized now that the serum when this uh, episode comes up. And there we have it, another giant half dragon. So voila, done that to whoever asked me to uh, get a half dragon giant line going. I'm working on it. Uh, we could just declare war for them. The funny is we can border dispute them because all the money that it requires we got for raiding them. Uh, is the law already inactive? Yeah, it's already active. So, revoke! Bye bye! On the moonwood, now ours. Um. Hola holadio. In 1417 and 1418, that's quite some time away. Ardbar, we could go and declare a war for, but it's a border dispute. Um. I like to get Mitro Hall because it's just really, really nice to, to gain as a... Dang, man, there are crowned the Butcher. By the way, this really weird line, I found out why this happens. This also happens to Elves and Drow and uh, Half Drow, what have you not, is when there's a wound and then they heal from it and then somehow semi the human face comes through it. And that's why this weird line happens. Yeah, they're so far down the line, I don't give Battlehammer uh, the excuse anymore. Um, me to a hole. We can hold 5,000 troops over there. Hmm. Five thousand troops, that's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. 2.9, even worse. Yeah, we need to wait a little bit until we declare this war. Everywhere rumors have reached me that people are trying to kill my lover. Please don't. We're trying to kill all plots automatically. 2.9. Still a severe winter. Now people are trying to kill me. Come on. Get out of that winter. Normal winter. I'm going to declare the war right now. Oh, we can claim it all. We, indeed, we made a claim on it. That's right, I forgot. It's been a while since we played. On the cameras. And also a while since I played uh, for you guys as I was also busy with, well, as you heard, some own project. Oh! I have a new heir. What happened to my rival? Died a natural death, yeah, 45, it's a kobold, they don't live forever. That is a thing, so we have gone from a half-dragon kobold to another half-dragon kobold. Eh, still a pretty darn good person. Will he survive before I die? Eh, doubt it. And, uh, yeah, here we have you, another half-dragon. Oh, my daughter. Yeah, we'll uh, marry you to Mary Metrolineal. That she loses prestige is not my problem right now. So we have to see if Silvery Moon comes to the rescue. Because this is a claim war. This is not some holy war, this is not something special in that sense. But they are, I believe, they are allied to one another. Oh, successor nomination. Hmm, that opens us up for other possibility. Now that my first heir died... The half-dragon, red-dragon, dragon. I'm considering Valletta. Hate. Oh. 
Okay. Let's go in. How many troops can we now hold here? 13,000. Absolutely gorgeous. We declared war at the right time. This is the time that Mithril was weak in the summer. We're gonna lose some troops here as I bang down the door. But I do want to get this done be... Uh... Oh, she could use some practice reading. Oh, newest error. I want to do this because if you have a 10 to 1 ratio, it's normally better to simply attack. You have a good chance of A, succeeding, and B, if you don't... Uh, very well. You can give him a commander title. If you don't, there are siege events that will bring you down anyways. Ah, he is already given up. I do not need to siege the other part. Goodbye, Mifro Ho. Alas, I got ill a little bit. Yeah, and some people were kind of worried, like, hey, oh, Frost Hills is independent. Which means Driss is independent. Hmm. 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 Oh dear. Oh, is that not the one that was on on our court? You you got so many children, Drist. You and Illustrial just went on humping and humping, and she died next to during complications of another birth. You, you, sly dog, you really, jeez. So. Uh, seeing we could revoke everything, we should revoke everything. Because there's no reason for us to own any of this territory. With dwarves being around, we claim it for the kobolds. And the dragons. Very good. Now that we have this, I think it is time that I actually give one of my children this Mithril Hall. It's not in the end the uh, title I want to hold as my kingdom title. I mean, I think it's going to be Silvery Moon. Because it's just 14, 15, 16 and it is even a better developed duchy than here. More uh, uh, slots. So I think that that is better. Also, the Silvery Moon Duchy. And there's a few more uh, holdings in it that I l than this guy has. So I think that that is where I want to go. And then per perhaps I'm going to go for the same region we had back then. With Sundabar in it as well. Because Sundabar is also a pretty good holding. We'll have to see. Uh, but I think when we're time, high time we declare... Do I want a border dispute over just this? Lose a hundred piety for it. Mm, who knows? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to do go give it to you. Then we at least have also a place where kobolds will grow. Cause uh, he's gonna generate probably draconic vassals as he himself is a dragon. Yeah, in that sense, maybe I wanna do kobolds. I don't know. Let me just check my core for a moment. Do I have... Uh, that's my husband. Yeah. I recognize it from, the ba uh, from his family line. Yeah, you I would have done if you weren't so bloody stupid and keep on... I can grant land a title to you, my darling. I can grant land a title to women. That's interesting. Or to my son here. Uh, grandson, sorry. But he needs a dragon woman. Or we could go again for the silver hand again. Uh, I think I've done enough with that research. I mean, I'm certain we can get a half elf, half elven, half dragon. That should be a possibility, but. Hmm. Why will we give it to him? Why not um, your firstborn? 
This is a... This is, this is a white dragon. Matrilineal, by the way. I mean, you're a freaking genius. You're a half dwarf. What are you for? Oh, because you're from the line, but you. Wait, that would give us an uh, an alliance with you. It's this boy. Who married into another silver hand? You married this dark sister. Oh my. Uh, they have some weird lines. I think I will do that. To the firstborn's first living child left. There we go. All right, you're. N I'm gonna restrict that marriage, grant land a title. You're gonna get me to go whole. So, our and immediately uh, stops that betrothal. Oh great, gout. The problem is gout can you cannot heal from gout. So this will be except that I immediately remove it. Normally that's not the thing, but all right, so I've given my firstborn firstborn who's still alive cuz I mean he died in childbirth cuz well, it was that line we tried some land. So that is Principle is is a good thing. It feels like a good thing. So that the first line will be a thing, but we'll probably live that long enough that uh, another line will come to the throne later on. Okay, having done that, do we want this? I mean, it's half of the duchy. It is a tribal holding, which is good for us. We need to expand somehow, but on the other hand, our to get Adbar. Hmm. And stupidly enough, he still doesn't want to vassalize. Oh no, because we, of course we haven't switched to Kobold, being a Kobold yet. So don't you want to come to my court? Yes, you do. There you go. If we declare war for your... Oh, there's my daughter-in-law as well. Will it become ours? Holds a higher... If holds a higher tier title and is of the same dynasty? No. Or is the Dujur Liege? No. That is neither in the case. Could we, however, declare forced vassalization on you? No. We can force it on you, but we cannot force it on anyone else. Why can we force it on you? Probably because force vassalization requires... I lose only 250 prestige, but... Yeah, either of your religious group or culture group. We'll lose the 250 prestige and get this... Get the rift to be part of us. Let's get some true kobold land... On our side. Whoa, there we are. We are a legendary evoker. Now, if this thing wasn't yet about lore and order, we are establishing order in our realm. Oh, God, the attrition. I don't like being up here with my forces. Yeesh. I've given you some lore and we're establishing a new order. That is for certain. Build a great work. Absolutely not. I wouldn't mind strengthening the draconic religion actually I agree with that what is going on here are you attacking them yes you are brave sir for lady for hammer all right we got the cobalt uh, I'm
And that makes it now time to guzzle up everyone that's the jury pawn of our kingdom. They may defile me, but I'll eat them alive if they resist. And you know who will be the winner. So, um, let's just do some YouTube magic. And with that little war solved, well, we more or less have established order in the cold north. Yes, we do like one more county, but yeah, I can't declare on Adbar right now because we have peace. But in principle, order has been restored to the cold north, and all of the cold north is beneath the Dragon Queen of the Kobolds. Now just have to hope that our uh, advisor over here does as I like, and I've actually decided to try and settle the tribe over here, because this is the... Historical capital, apparently, of the, the, the old capital of the Cold North, they call it here. Uh, so, if that is draconic, I can go towards, and this switches, I can go to Cobalt culture, try to get Cobalt culture sp to spread, and then move here in order to get uh, dr have a draconic area. That is what I'm going to try and do, but I'm going to try and do that off camera. And see if we can get some, well, true spread of the only cultures and religion allowed. So thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.